Hello, Requin87, and welcome back to yet more Rule the Waves 2 as we continue our Confederate States of America playthrough. We are in the spring of 1915, and as we rejoin the world, tensions are running high with France, and that is indeed where I want to focus the uh, first part of our attentions. See if I can stoke the fires of war and get rumbling there. We did have a war with France just recently, um, and although we came out victorious, we got diddly squat from that war, which aggrieved me greatly. We now have some of our, uh, some of these battle cruisers rocking uh, the waves, and, and our first the dreadnoughts have now set sail as well. Uh, so we're keen to get them in action. I think we can give the French a good licking. We've got positive balance, reasonable amount of funds. Um, I'm tempted to let that build up a little bit. Um, because I'm still feeling quite light at the kind of top end of my fleet. And ideally, I think I'd like to get um, another couple of battleships or dreadnoughts, whatever you want to call them, to bring our toll up to kind of five dreadnoughts, which is, again, it's not going to be huge when compared to some others. You know, USA's already got five, it's building more. Britain obviously has loads. Yeah, okay, we're out France, out outclassing France, Russia, and Japan, but even Germany's going to have seven. You know, and our budget's pretty comparable to them, so ours are quite big. Uh, you know, we're we're thirty odd thousand tons. A lot of these other people are down about twenty thousand ton mark. So we are going for quality over quantity. Which partly, I suppose, is where I naturally gravitate towards as a as a player. But also, oh, um, and it's it's not necessarily a bad thing. But this game definitely rewards uh, quality over quantity. And I, I, I think it, you'd get a more interesting tactical decision if that wasn't the case. Um, and you could make a play for larger numbers of cheaper um, ships, but until you can uh, define your fleets and your squadrons exactly how they're going to move around, then it's not worth the way the battle generator works and the, the fact it kind of throws random numbers of ships in, you're always better having higher quality ships. Um, because then when you get put in one-on-one -on -one against an opponent, you're more likely to come out ahead. But anyway, um, yes. What was I saying about that? That's fine, yes, yeah, so I'd like to bring it up to five. Uh, yeah, for five Bruce Dreadnoughts. We'll have our two older pre-Dreadnoughts. I am going to keep these guys around. And the reason for that, and um, there was a, a, a kind of a reminder in one of YouTube comments as well, and saying make sure you, you kind of keep an eye on your carrier conversion requirements for the future. Um, so these guys should be good candidates for that, albeit we'll need a bit of an engine change out because we need to go a little bit faster. We've got up to 24 knots. Should be fine by changing machinery. Um, yeah, so the other area we probably do need to improve is on our heavy cruisers. Our, our latest 15,000 tons and tonners are, are decent, um, although, you know, maybe a little aged. or kind of five years behind in tech. No torpedo protection. Kind of 10,000 tons are, are starting to get questionable. They're slow. Um, armaments, okay for heavy cruisers, 10 inch guns, no problems with that. But they are a bit slow, and um, again, no torpedo protection. So, you know, questions about how useful they, they remain going in the future. And our McCrae's here, these 9,000 tonners, 8 inch guns, terrible speed. They are just waiting to be scrapped. And they are of no use to anyone, you know, they're not, um, you know, if I was looking at CVL conversions, I'd probably opt for probably the eSports. Again, I need to find some speed on them, but hopefully the more modern machinery can manage four knots. So that's asking quite a lot, to be fair. But I don't know, we'll have a look when it comes to that. We're a bit away from having to worry about that. Maybe, maybe 10 years or so. So yeah, well, McCrae's I don't think will be around by that point. Anyway, right, so what we can do. First thing we do is we're going to mobilise. Because I know that can stoke tensions. Hopefully that might be enough to tip us over over the scales. I don't think else it'll help our crews get a little bit better as well. Oh, some destroyers. Actually, we are building some new destroyers. That's nice. Uh, we can confess. That's fine. Spy from Russia. I don't really care about Russia as a thing. Yeah, we'll not worry about that. I want war with France. Ooh, that's big. Director firing. Two. <laughs> oh. 
there's some funky things happening in my research in this game. So, um, those of you on, on stream probably won't remember, but those on YouTube might might have freshed off your minds. For the most recent destroyers we were building, um, the Charles Reed class, I think it is, I hummed and hawed for a long time because I was still on single mount torpedoes and I really wanted doubles to kind of, so we were putting out more than just one torpedo per fire because, you know, fire more torpedoes and you're more likely to actually hit something. And apparently we've just skipped double mounts and gone straight for triples. Uh, okay, I'll take that. Does mean... Oh, man. It, it does mean I'm probably going to wait till these are all out the yard and then give refit them with all triple mounts. Okay, director firing is pretty important though. And I do probably want to go through and start um, replacing that guns. Also noticing that uh, tension with France didn't go anywhere. We could always do a fleet exercise as well. As much as I hate <laughs> having to set these things up. Um, I believe there's an automate button for this. That might be worth it, trying to spill us up to war. And maybe we just do this war with central firing and then re uh, up to get our feet to director thereafter. <laughs> People do that. All right, let's try a fleet exercise. Oh, I hate doing this. Right. Select division. Oh, new division. There we go. All right, let's just throw some ships together. Yeah, that's fine. Something like this. We'll uh, new division for their main force. They can have. Uh, sure, you can have these ones. Probably quite expensive. That's good for um, experience. If nothing else. Good. Let's throw in a destroyer one here. And you certainly don't have to use all your ships. The bigger fleets you start playing with, the harder this uh, becomes. But hey ho. That, is that my eight? My eight? Yeah. It's fine. And let's throw uh eight straw thing in here. Great, and then let's give them all a scouting force and a few light cruisers. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, apparently you're gonna have lots of little ones. Absolutely fine. Hey, you can have the same, why not? Let's just mirror these. Okay, that's fine. It's not everyone, but that'll absolutely do. Classic range, good weather, daytime. Okay, 10 million. Oh, wow, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Sure, let's go for it. That's probably not worth it. I should have done less ships. Okay, good. I don't know why you have less than 50 fuel, but fair enough. What? Show me them. How about it? Don't stop for anything. Uh, let's just run on faster for now. Why are you stopping? Ah, I don't care. I'm not interested in the outcome. This is purely to raise tensions and actually to get my guys up to um, up to speed. Uh, you can just go fully automated AI control. That's absolutely fine. You guys can all go AI control. Don't care about you. Um, you come. I know. Uh, come support them, please. Okay. You can be AI control as well. No screen. No. Let's go independent. Do whatever you want to do. Now I'll take my main battle line of a complete random selection of ships. And we'll see what happens. Hang on. What are you doing? Do you like? Leave me alone. One advantage of having the rear admiral is setting everything on the... I suppose I could do it in captain's mode as well, set it all in the AI control. 
Give them hell. I should come ahead here because I've got two of our new um, pre-dread, uh, our new dreadnoughts. Well, they only have one. And in fact, although they've got the two battle cruisers, what have I got? Yeah, I don't know. We'll just stand and throw things at each other. I could turn off all my uh, stop on so many hits and things, but I'm not bother. I really wasn't paying attention to what just happened there. Oh, someone's rudder has been damaged. Enemy ship hit by a torpedo was well, good, I suppose. You guys going to do a torpedo run? Kind of perfect type pla placement for it. Maybe. All right, we'll just head up this way. What time of day are we at? Okay, a couple of hours, then it'll all end. We care not about survival. Or anything, really. Are you taking a speedo? No. Okay. Yeah, go wreck the Franklin. Wow, we're uh, hitting them all with torpedoes right now, it's pretty good. Oh, something bulkhead ruptured from too fast. Looks like the Franklin has died. This is good. Uh, okay, we've still got a few move well yet, but there's half an hour till dusk, which will draw the end, the end of the battle. Excellent. Uh, oh yeah, you're just picking on a dead horse. Pretty sure that's not a real saying, but whatevs. Whatevs! Okay, let's just run away. Okay, good. Off we go. Let's see if this gives us the war you're after. Better do it. It costs a 10 million. Oof. We done? Why don't you actually aim for uh, port? Do I not control Dominican? No, oh, do I not get ports in the uh, fleet exercise ones? Oh, fair enough. Hadn't noticed that before. Oh, apparently it's poor sea state. Oh, we limited to 22 knots. Joke's on you! Large portions of my fleet can't go 22 knots. <clears throat> okay. uh, oh, wow, we uh, came out really far ahead, actually. Good. Right, anyway, come on, this not the important important bit was, there we go. Yes, come on, France. No, you want to. 
Or declared proclamation read by His Excellency from the steps of Parliament. Right, come on, Frenchies. Ah. We should have them. Yeah. Just have these guys for toast. And we've got Japan helping out uh, harass them in the Pacific. Now, we're still, uh, unfortunately, unable to invade the Attilies. Antilles, that is. Um, so we're, but th that possession should be enough to convince them at least send some forces over here. Indeed, they already have one BB. Have we got much in the North American East Coast? Uh, only a little bit. That's fine. No ships in service. Let's go by location. I want to see what I've got up here. Uh, we split our corvettes. That's fine. Let me get all these bad boys on trade protection. Beautiful. Uh, and then I want to see what I've got in terms of cruises up here. Put these guys on radar. Now, uh, we, we might run into problems of them meandering too far away and um, running out of fuel again. Really, if we wanted to go pure radar builds, we should get them on the long range. There we go. Uh, other thing I want to do subs. We could go unrestricted. We could potentially drag Russia into this war. Which I'm not really that worried about. A lot of heavy cruisers, but... Um, how are we doing for submarines? Hmm, yes. We're actually about a year away from having a reasonable submarine force. Let's go unrestricted for just now. No, let's go prize roads. I don't think there's enough enough subs yeah ready to make a difference on unrestricted front so let's go that cool avoid the fence medium size unexpected so we can't we can't avoid it it's in our home waters we have oh my god you're kidding me five destroyers well, this seems uh you know Awesome. No control at the minute. Right, we'll spot a ship. Let's get both of you guys on manual control. Get you up to some fighting speeds. What type of destroyers are these? These are our William Webb. Yeah. A few pop guns and a reasonable amount of torpedoes. See what we're up against. Really, one destroy. Well, this is the highlight of excitement. All right, let's give chase. Along the top. Hopefully, if we can land a few hits, just be enough to uh, slow him down. Should manage to sink him. Relatively easily. I don't know what the what's Durandal max speed twenty seven. I mean, I think if you went flank speed, he could outrun us. But we'll give him a go. I don't think we've hit him yet. Oh no, we have. Oh, there's another one out here somewhere. Probably another destroyer. This is such an uninteresting battle. Might just have to leave him. All right, let's go back to convoy. Head south. See what this is. Oh, looky, another destroyer heading for a convoy. Well, let's head him off. Let's go squad max until we get a bit closer. Don't want to hit him in amongst my transports. You're completely ignoring me. Who are you launching a torpedo at? That's uh, ambitious. Okay, now we're going to bring it down 24 to help your gunnery. Hey, we hit him. We need our four inch guns. Not going to be doing very much. Um, especially, uh, 900 Thunder Strike. It's a reasonable size as well. All we're going to do here is scare him away. 
I'll probably call it good enough. I mean, our screen for our convoys is as big as their Bloomin' Attack Fleet. Bit of a ridiculous mission, but there you go. Oh, he looks a bit slow there. Ah! Forgot that he was my HQ unit. That's uh, somewhat disastrous. Uh, not thrilling. Alright, let's just, if he wants to run away, we'll let him run away. Oh, I'll do it. Yeah, that's fine. A very pointless engagement, but such is life sometimes. Well, we got one of them apparently heavy damaged, but not enough to slow it down and sink it. Right. I cannot believe I'm getting 600 victory points for that. Does not feel deserved. Major victory. Pipe down. Uh, friendly Merchants won. Also... Yeah, okay. Well, these odds are terrible. But we do have some pretty low reliability guys still on the go, so fair enough. And then we sink three merchants in the Caribbean. Okay. Advancing. I'm upset that my budget is negative when I'm in war, actually. I, won't to, I can't I need to not grow my navy too much. More destroyers. Ooh, seaplane bases. That's cool. Definitely want scouts. Okay, well, there'll be some post-war building. Bigger guns. I want more better quality of the guns I've got, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we thwart. Oh no, there's Jean Bar. Shorts thwarts our radar. We sink some more merchants. We lose another sub. And don't sink any merchants either. Disappointing. No battle either. Interesting. Have they run away? Okay. Cruise action. Oh, please let me my PCs. Here we go. Okay. These are our brand new, well, pretty new battle cruises anyway. Built, I think, laid down in nine, but I think we rolled off from what, 1912? First action you'll have seen, I think. Why so many black stars? Okay, I don't know. Um, yeah, nine 14 inch guns. Reasonable, reasonable turn of pace on them. Let's see what we're up against. Hopefully, some heavy cruisers we can just eat for breakfast. I'd take on a pre dreadnought as well, to be honest. Okay. We've got. Uh, have a good old chuck a tuck. Yeah, valiant ship, heroic deeds in earlier wars. But to now, definitely showing her age. Right, you head up to your amazing squad max of 18 knots. Bring these guys up to cruise speed. Cruise speed at 20 knots. I'll head towards this blue dot and see what we got. One heavy cruiser. A brewery, which, I mean, it's an old armor cruiser. It's not much to write home about, to be perfectly honest. Oh, but wait, there's more. Go on, go on, chuck a tuck. Another CA, probably another brewery. So these things are, yeah, slow. Yeah, reasonable displacement. But what is that armor about? 
That's uh, just a glorified light cruiser, to be honest. Button. Another brewery. That's fine. Oh, hello. You brought your own battle cruiser to the fight, have you? Might just have something to say about that. Okay, we've got a Tourville. Um, mm -mm -mm, 12 knots. 12 knots. 12 inches. 8 barrels. So we have 9 barrels of 14 inches. They have 8 barrels of 12 inches. We have 13 inch belt. They have 9.5 inch belt. We have. Uh, okay, 23 knots versus 2 knots. So they are faster. Which is rubbish because they might just run away. Um, yeah, I mean. We'd smoke this guy one on one, it's a two on one. So Trick No is going to be doing enough damage. Well, let's go to squad max. Hurts our accuracy. Well, yeah, no, we're going to. Okay, so what speed are you going, mate? Oh, yeah, because yeah, that's a bit as fast as you can go for that. That's fine. Okay, hitting the uh, Brewie with our six inch guns. And again, Chuck Tuck doing all the hitting right now. Oh, great. The 14 inch shell slams into the Tour V. And we are at, let's do the, let's, let's check, check the math. We're at 16,200 yards, that's quite a distance. Our quality zero guns at 16,200. It's punching through either 10 inches or 2.2 inches a deck. Neither of which this thing has. Well, oh, actually, no, to be fair, it's two and a half inches a day. So we might not have penetrated with that, given it could be a plunging fire. Let's try and close the range. No! Night time, you take my victories from me. I am aghast. I've got to watch these destroyers because I feel like at some point, oh hello, they're gonna do a torpedo run just to scare me off. If you want to stay close, I will happily try and hit some, land some hits on you. Uh, eight inch on the two of you. That's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, oh the sadness. And I don't want to risk my battle cruisers um, in the dead of night getting a round torpedo and having a bad times. They don't have torpedo protection, unlike our dreadnoughts. So you are just gonna come back and be four. We're just gonna cruise on out here. Sad times, everyone. Sad times. Oh, chuck a tuck, I fear for your life right now. Could it be? You fool! Alright. We'll do a, we'll do our own little uh, torpedo run at this guy then. He's gonna... He's gonna play the fool. We shall not stand in his way. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get the shot on the BB. We might get one of the CAs. And you don't have time to get on, oddly enough, but... What are your... What is your formation all about, you lot? Right, we've got some torpedoes away, but frankly, I don't trust them. Peter Murphy's been hit and... Oh, Chuck Tuck has been mauled by that battle cruiser now. Uh-oh. Oh, chuck a tuck. No, you're gone. Oh. Maybe not, maybe not. Must get up and look after her. Otherwise, she will sink herself by going too quickly. So sad. It's not a fight we should have lost, and yet we will. Right, if we can keep the Chuckatuck alive, 
we're doing okay. We just may not be able to do that. Probably we're miles from any friendly port either. One place in the blooming Americas, which we don't have one. We'll drop in the cruise speed. Pierre, what are you doing? I don't know what you're probably going to sink yourself. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Destroyers, I need you. Ah, formation screen as well. Let's go line ahead. Okay. Squad max. This way. But this is terrifying. Oh, actually, you know what? It's too close. You're going to have to pull off that way. Uh, okay, the Pruvi's taking a mauling, but I'm so scared of torpedoes. You guys just keep spinning around. Randomly landing hits on their... Is that their battle cruiser? I will stand up to that a little bit. Although, do you have a torpedo tube? I think you did. Mm, so let's not. I like the number of hits we're landing though. We had the light. Maybe do something more with it. Oh, you're just a heavy cruiser as well. You weren't the BC. Hey, we hit one of them. Uh, apparently we hit it twice. Well, that's good. Oh no, Chuck a Duck. I'm going to put you back onto AI control. Keep you on person control. Your speed nice and low. You down just to cruise. See if they come for another another go. Right, can we leave this sinking ship alone, please? Yeah, don't wait. You're just wasting your speedos, but I won't begrudge you it. We're up to a robot. 300 time spent. Minutes done. Stop shooting torpedoes at the sinking ship. You are, you've managed your flooding. This is perfect. I think we're going to go with this. Chuck a shall be saved for another day. Okay, charge rate's gone down. Fine. It's not fine. Actually, that was one of our new ones. That's annoying. You don't chuck a duck. Stick to the five. Heading north? No, we don't really want to head north, do we? No, we want to head this way. Last hundred, we should be good to go. No man left behind. And she got out. Okay, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. Uh, we did sink one CA, heavy damage in one, and uh, we won! I'll take that. Of course, because our one didn't sink. Yeah, it makes sense. Ace. It's not the victory I wanted. I really wanted to sink that uh, wrong button, sink that battle cruiser. Uh, so there we go. I meant to check the Chuck Duck's damage end there. But... Okay, starting to pull ahead. Only a few victory points, but it all adds up. Oh, spot. Uh, tech from Britain, I like that. More reliable submarines. This is good because we're rapidly losing them. Sink some more merchants. All right. Haven't caused on rest scop yet. Do we still have a presence here? They do. One more. Well, I'm more than happy to match. Excellent. Yeah, they're having to spread their ships out. They obviously manage their colonial holdings, which is not something we have to worry about yet. I'd like to try and rack up a few, maybe 10,000 or so VPs. So the fact we're behind on money is a slight upsetting. 
a convoy attack. Ooh, now we're going to be outnumbered on red knots. Let's give a declined. That's upsetting. Fleet battle. They look like they've pulled out their um, dreadnoughts. Oh, France, you just give me like a thousand victory points there. French ship intercepts our radar. Let's have a look, see what it is. If it's a heavy cruiser, we will just have to run away. This is one of our newest light cruisers, which is a, a lot of 10 inch guns. Uh, 6 inch guns, I should say. And if it's a French light cruiser, I'll happily have a duel. Let's start by going up the way, just stay out of gun range. I think it's a heavy cruiser. It is a heavy cruiser. A Portho class, which is one of their modern ish ones. That's a lie, 1903. Uh, well, actually, it's not that old. Yeah, given we're only in 1915. It was probably built in like five, so about 10 years out of uh, the docks. Um, but. Yeah, more than a match for, for our poor little Clinton here. Clifton, even. So we shall. Use our discretion. Get the. Uh, dodge. I never checked the fact that Sea State was limiting our uh, speed, which is our one advantage. Ah, oh, 28 knots. Not enough to worry about it. Alright. Oh well, not a very exciting battle, but sometimes that's the way it goes. Yes, I do. A draw. Cool. Happy with that. New docks. Nice. Interesting name for the story, given war with French. French forest. Um, okay, now last time we had this, we were further ahead and we went kind of middle of the line and we got just nothing. We're going to be so hawkish, it's unbelievable. Because I want war reps and I want probably a colony in Africa. Which is going to add difficulties in terms of... Uh, what's we looking at? Foreign tonnage, but... We're going to try and not just play home area again. Okay, yes, we got thwarted by the Porthau, not a problem. We also sink some merchants. But the French raiders in the Caribbean are sinking us, which I dislike. Why don't maybe we go to the old Caribbean and grab our last archer here and put you on trade protection. I clicked on button. Okay, that way you might go up against their light cruisers. Ideally, obviously, you do what they're doing and match up a heavy cruiser, but ours are so slow, uh, it wouldn't really be worth it. Any light cruiser worth his salt will just run away from us. And that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. So once again, we find ourselves at war for the French, something I'm very pleased about, and this time I'm determined to exact payment from them in one way, shape, or form. A reasonable start to war, getting a few thousand VPs in front, uh, although a little bit uh, fast and loose with the battle cruisers there. Knife, knight fighting, and knife fighting, which is essentially the same thing really, uh, is always dangerous and you're only ever a few uh, unlucky torpedoes away from quite a crushing defeat, so um, I will do my best to rein that in, although I know that I will not. <laughs> As ever, this was taken from a Twitch livestream, a link's in the description below if you fancy coming out live. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next one. Cheerio.